Hey everybody, this is Big Jim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, the trick step. And uh, it's another video in the series that I'm doing of options you can get for your bow. Now this option, the trick step, um, if you order your boat, you're able to get it welded on to your trailer um, from the factory. So when you take delivery, it is welded on. However, if you like the trick step, I'll put a link down in the comments below or in the description below. If you like the trick step, you can actually go online and order one and then just bolt it on. So just because you don't get one uh, welded on from the factory doesn't mean that you can't have one. Now, I will say this, uh, my previous boat, my Ranger, I did have a bolt on one and yeah, it worked. Uh, but you know, I'm a big fella. And when I would get up in the boat, it would squeak. However, uh, the one that is welded on my Marine Masters trailer, uh, it doesn't squeak at all. And the thing I like about it, I'm a big fella, I'm 300 pounds and it doesn't bend or anything. It's, it's an awesome product, but yeah, we're gonna show you the trick step. And uh, I'm also gonna show you um, what kind of trailer ball hitch you need to get so that you do not uh, dent your bumper or your tailpipe on your tow vehicle. Um, I'll put a link for the ball hitch down in the description below. But hey, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you the trick step and I'm gonna show you the ball hitch. And then you, I want you to take a look here. You can see there's, that's where I store my boat in that third bay right there. And you can see how my driveway is. So what is unique is that I have to jackknife my boat uh, back here to be able to get out of my driveway because the city would not allow me to extend my driveway out to the road right there. So to make, make a long story short, I got to jackknife it to get it out. And by having the proper uh, ball hitch inserted, I'm able to do that without damaging my truck. And I'm going to show you uh, on my backup camera, and I'm also going to stop and get out and show you what it looks like. But anyway, hey, thanks for watching this video, and here's some more information. All right, so here's my trick step. As you can see, it is actually welded on to the upright that holds your bow roller. Very good welds. And my trailer is paint over gator hide. So not only is the trick step covered in gator hide, but it is also painted and it blends flawlessly with the trailer and looks great. But what I really like about it is that when it comes to getting in the boat, forgive my water shoes, I'm fixing to go put the boat in and do some scanning around, trying to find some fish off the ledges. But uh, you can see it's just real easy for me to get up in the boat. Love the handle. And you can see when you get ready to exit the boat, uh, they have the little safety stripes on there. You can just reach over, put your hand on the pole, and down you go. No more putting your foot up on the fender and trying to flop yourself over into the boat. Those days are over. So the trick step, it's awesome. Now I'm gonna show you what makes the trick step successful so that you don't damage your bumper or your tailpipe and this is uh 
this extended hitch that I got. It's, uh, I think it's about 13 inches long. I'll put a link in the description so you can go look at it. Ordered it from E-Trailers online. And what that does, that gets that ball back so that when you turn or you have to jackknife your trailer, this point right here doesn't end up damaging that point right there on your vehicle. And people talk about, I've seen on uh, the BBC boards and also on the Facebook page, hey, just get an extension. Well, if you get an extension, that is gonna reduce your weights uh, for towing. This hitch right here, it's like 80 something bucks. It uh, is solid and it is actually rated for 10,000 pounds. Let's see. Yeah, it says it right there. 10,000 pounds and a thousand pounds tongue weight. So that sucker is beefy. And if you take your existing hitch and you put an extension in there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lower your tongue weight and your toe rating. So it's better to just get a one piece, get it installed, put a lock in it, and then you don't have to worry about that step hitting the back of your vehicle. And all it does is it moves, it moves that ball back probably about six or eight inches farther than what you would normally have. But yeah, trick step. I'm 50 years old. I will never own another boat without it. And I'm just very thankful that Phoenix, through their you know use of uh, Marine Masters trailers, you're able to get it welded on. Because when I get up in there, absolutely no noise, no squeaking or anything. Great product. All right, I'm in my truck and as you can see, uh, I'm able to see down and watch my hitch and I'm actually able for me to get it out of the driveway, I have to jackknife my trailer. And you can see my boat's there. I've got it jackknifed pretty good. And that's so that I can back it up to get out. I'm going to move to the outside and show you what it looks like. I wanted to show you this because with that hitch extension, I'm able to do a jackknife. And you can see that the trick step does not hit my vehicle. Matter of fact, I've got three or four inches. And I'm gonna go around to the other side so that you can get a good view. Here's a view from the other side. And you can see that extension really gets that tongue out so that trick step doesn't come close to the vehicle. Between my tailpipe and that trick step, I got a good five or six inches. And like I said, the reason why I have to do this is I have to jackknife my boat back out there, right about where those two bushes are. And that allows me to get down the driveway and out. I wanted to show this video so that you guys could see that you can have a trick step and it not damage your vehicle. You just have to have the proper tools to go with it. And it's worth going ahead and spending the extra money, getting yourself a good hitch 
that is going to last, that is not going to reduce your tow rating, so that you can maneuver it however you need to. But anyway, hey, this is Big Jim with Big Jim's Fishing. Uh, I'm going to continue to make little videos like this, talking about options and add-ons and stuff for Phoenix boats, as well as other products. I do some fishing videos, not many, because uh, I don't want to give away a lot of stuff right now. <laughs> but anyway, hey, this is Big Jim. Thanks for uh, watching, and we'll see you next time.